Hi, I'm Nicholas Fishman. Once again, English is not my main language, and I should have done this video much sooner. Today, we're gonna talk about the Creative Outlier Gold. This product is not new by any means, but in my eyes, it's still a champ in some categories. You can find some affiliate links down below if you'd like to buy this product. Let's talk about the box, especially what's written on the back. We've got 14 hours of continuous playback per charge. Keep that in mind. Then 39 hours of total playtime, that is the first 14 hours from the in-ears plus whatever else the case gives us. Their Bluetooth 5.0 enabled plus updates from Qualcomm and AAC. Super important, they're certified IPX5, so they can handle sweat and humidity in general. And you can naturally use it for phone calls plus Siri and Google Assistant. In the box, this is what you'll get. A very in-your-face readme guide that actually in this case, this one specifically, you should read it. I'll tell you why a bit later. The earphones plus the case, your standard USB Type-C to USB Type-A cable, plus some silicone tips of different sizes. So what about the case? It opens like this, it's super easy, closes like this. On one side, we're told that this supports the SuperX5 software, which we'll talk about later, plus USB Type-C on the other side, and four independent LEDs that tell us if both earphones are being charged at the same time. The second one indicates the battery from the case. And last but not least, this one tells us if the case is charging or not. The case is not super huge, but it's not small. Let's compare it to the Galaxy Buds Plus. Yeah, there's a difference. Once again, opening up the case reveals the earphones. This will not fall off easily. Look at this. Yes, they're still in here. No cuts, no editing magic. It's fantastic. Why, you may ask. They just added two magnets on each of them, plus two exposed ones protruding at that on the case. So connection is super solid. Just bring them close and they snap in. Design-wise, they resemble some custom fit in-ears. You've got your microphone over here, then a push button on the side, an LED ring that tell us if it's paired, pairing, or whatever else. The silicon tip is mid-sized. I usually tend to use large ones or just even comply phone ones. So this case is kind of special. The length of the tube is very short and the diameter of the nozzle is kind of small as well. However, they do fit amazingly well. And I'm very picky about this. There's no way for them to fall off, even if you're running or maybe banging to some metal. <laughs> and yeah, they isolate even quite a bit better than your standard IEM. So isolation, very good. One thing I'd like to mention though, if you've got a small ear canal, not mid to big sized one, then you might probably struggle with fitting this inside of your ear. Once again, I tend to use large sized silicone tips and these mid sized ones fit perfectly, but they can start feeling uncomfortable after two and a half hours of continuous use. Also, my number one gripe with this product is the push button. I know there are alternatives like the Buds Plus with a touchpad, which is much better in my opinion. Maybe it's more expensive or it adds software development or something else, but this push button in particular, it's just too hard to press. I love you, Creative, you know that, but please change this in the next version. It's so annoying that I had to hold them in place when I wanted to push them, because if not, I'd just push the in-ears into my ear canal. And yeah, I have tried other in-ear with buttons, but this one's just too hard. Another thing, these are maybe not the most attractive in-ears I've ever seen, but after that, it's all good and great. What about the 14 hours claimed battery life? Well, they're actually kind of true and pretty consistent. Creative says 14 hours, I say 11 to 13, which is not bad at all. So battery life's definitely outstanding. Probably the biggest selling point of these headphones. However, that's not all because Sound quality is actually great as well. Even compared to, for example, the Galaxy Buds and the Galaxy Buds Plus, which this last ones I did not like, not because of the design and all of that, battery is great, but they sound too harsh and thin. These ones, on the other hand, sound 
much fuller, they have more body, bass is super strong, but it doesn't overpower other frequencies, so it's not a warm sound by any means, but it is kind of a B-shaped sound signature. Vocals for males and females in the mid-range are well resolved. They are what you can expect from an 80 to 100 dollars in-ear headphone, Bluetooth enabled at that, so if you're expecting great mid-range, then maybe you should be looking to other wired solutions in the $150, $180. Travel extension for this price point is more than okay. It does roll off, but again, not a wired solution. Fortunately though, they're not sibilant, not bright, and they're clear enough. So in summary, sound quality, great. Even cold quality, at least inside, yeah, I could not test them on the streets because quarantine reasons, but yeah, they're more than enough to talk on the phone. So you can even use them separately. You don't have to use both of them at the same time. And no connection issues, range is standard. Use them via AAC and Aptex, zero problems at all. Pairing to a phone is standard. You can see that we're using Qualcomm Aptex and you can download SuperXFi app for free on the Play Store. Same thing, of course, goes for iOS. From here, you'll be first asked to create an account. Doing so takes just a few seconds. And after that comes the most important part. You must do a head mapping. With this app, you can map the size and shape of both of your ears separately because if we split ourselves half and half, we're never <laughs> the same. We're always deformed in some way, accept that and live with that. So after you do that, then the software will personalize the sound that will come out of the earphones when you activate the SuperXFi effect. However, you can only activate this inside of the app. So if you wanna listen to music, you have to access your own music stored in the phone's memory through the app. Unfortunately, yes, this means that no YouTube, no Netflix streaming, no nothing else outside of the app. And they do know about this. They even say it in the box. Software SuperXFi supports only local audio contents found in app. Check out SuperXFi Air Bluetooth headphone to enjoy SuperXFi on streaming services such as YouTube, Spotify, and Netflix. And no, SuperXFi Bluetooth headphone is not another app. It's just another product. Are you missing out? Well, maybe, it depends. I mean, it's not life-changing. These earphones are amazing for other reasons like great battery life and great sound quality, range, and isolation capabilities. So the Super XFi effect is not actually needed. It's just a welcome addition. Can I recommend them? Yeah, big yes. Even though they have a super annoying button, please, again, create it, fix this in the next version. So once again, affiliate links down below, right next to the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to see more of our content, please hit that damn bell and enable all notifications. Flan, my video editor, let them know what YouTube does if they don't hit that bell. You can also follow us on social media. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'm Nicolas Fishman and I'll be seeing you in the next one.